yeah, so people, well, I'm going back to, um, you know, this digital passports they want people to have. But, you know, I've been on the bus today and they're saying it would be better if you still wore your mask on the bus, which is what I'm doing. Um, to protect myself and other people. But most people weren't wearing them. People have just get, stopped, just like that. Freedom Day, we can take them all off. Just as if the virus is gone. Whereas it's on the increase, and it's getting ready to mutate. People are just... Sometimes they are, they are literally like sheep. You know? They really, really are. It's, I'm taking a big risk when I go on public transport because of all these people that don't take a he, a he, do sensible precautions. The, my virus isn't going because it was Freedom Day. Oh, God. They're going to know all our whereabouts. Just like a person I came on Instagram earlier said, soon they're, they're, you won't be allowed to be, even be a, a dissenter in any way. They know everything about you. They already have built up profiles on all of us. I mean, we've shared our stuff with everyone anyway. And most people haven't got nothing to hide. But they know where you live. They know your health. And they know if you say anything. I mean, I've been talking about freedom, proper freedom from a very young age very young age and I can remember my mum was passionate about the, the what you call the real Labour Party who actually really were for the people now you see the people are still there but they've aspired to the middle classes they've aspired to the ruling classes so they accept their values their mores uh, they want what they got and they, what they don't realise how much can be lost of what our ancestors fought for. Do you know what I mean? Bit by bit, there, some of these governments are chipping away at the rights and freedoms of people and taking more and more control of us totally, like we're herds, like we're stock. Anyway, sorry to talk about all this sort of thing when I'm passing you lovely babies. Is there only three of you today? I could have walked through there easy, couldn't I? I could have walked through here easy today. Yeah! Come on! Come on! Little one that looks like Bram. You coming? Let me see you. Yeah! Look at you. You beautiful baby. That one over there's got the ump. That one reminds me of if Brandy was a horse, she'd look like that. Right, you'll turn off, take a picture. There's some goats in there as well, in the field next door. We've got billy goats. Yeah. Billy boat gruffs. Camera don't like the heat, it's playing up already. Come on then, come up to the fence. Or is it electrified? You're nosy. Look at you. You're nosy. Yeah. I'm going to get over the gate now. You can watch me climb over it. One, two, three. Up. Yeah. Isn't he? Hello. You can do a Billy Goat Gruff bash on the thing. Come on in. You gonna eat my fingers? Yeah, ain't you like your mummy goat? Yeah, look at you. Are you lovely? Sorry, I would like you. Are you gonna eat my camera? Here comes Daddy. Daddy Billy Goat Gruff. Yeah, get out the way, he says to her. I'll get up there and see what she's about. Hello. Look, I take a picture. See? What is it, he says? 
Right folks, the bridal path of biting. I'm going to walk through here. I've just tucked my socks into my shorts to see if that'll stop the biting. This is a bridal path for horses. Um, and you'll, you'll, it'll come out on the camera. There'll be loads and loads of insects flying all around me as I go through this core, this uh, gauntlet. Um, this is the narrow part. It's not like this all the way. But of course, where the horses drop their dung and all that. I'm going to try not to talk too much because I actually inhaled a load of these. I inhaled a load of gnats once. They let it grow like this on purpose, you know, and then probably in a month they'll come along, some, some machine comes along here, clips it all back. There's a horsey in there, hello. Hi horses, how you doing? Yeah! Can you see me? Are you stuck? Are you alright? What you doing? What you doing for your family to come and feed you? Hey, that was a nice hello, wasn't it? I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. They got their um, face covered. <sighs> Bloody hell. These small gnats aren't the ones to worry about. It's the horse flies with their razor mouths. Scalpel, scalpel implement in their mouth that slices into your skin. You can see it when it starts festering, if you get bitten, you can see the actual cut mark. They've got two, several parts of their mouth. The scalpel actually cuts so that it can stick its proboscis in and suck your blood. The old m butterfly darting in front of me. Yeah. I'll just take a picture, hold on. Emerging into a wider area now. We just have a look over here. This is stuff we do all the time. There's always, there wasn't horses in there the other week, or they might have been out of view. But so this isn't a very good, look how this has fallen down. Look, farmer have to come and put this up or are. A few of them in there, and there's a baby one. They're coming over. I haven't got no food. I don't know if it's a baby one or just a little horse. Look, that one there. See it? Oh, look, he's running. Hello. Hello. I ain't got nothing for you, mind. No, I ain't got nothing. Hello, darling. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, look at the baby coming. Ah. Hello, darling. Are you hot? Yeah. Hello, puppy. Hello, baby. Look, I got film. Hello. Ah. Ah, I knew. Ah. Beautiful, aren't you beautiful? I'm seeing lots of your lovely babies today. Aren't you lovely? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. There's another big one looking over. You come in? Yeah, you come in? I got the footies. No. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> 